Hi everyone, it is time for a new video and today we're going to be talking about 2023 releases I want to read in the second half of the year. I've done actually a pretty good job at <laughs> acquiring them, but I haven't done the best job at reading them. So today I'm going to tell you about them and later we're going to, you know, read them in all kinds of reading vlogs. So let's just go and talk about all these books. They're mainly romance, but there's some other random stuff mixed in. So let's just get straight into it. So the first one we have is a very basic one, but one that I'm very excited about, and that is Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood. You most probably have heard of this author and this book, so I'm not going to say much. I also don't really know what this one is about specifically, but I, with authors that I love, you know, when they have new books, I don't really read the synopsis because I like it to surprise me. It's not always great when I'm supposed to describe it in a video. <laughs> I do have a video that I want to feature this in that I want to film this summer, so hopefully this is happening very very soon. The next book I have here you maybe have not heard about and that is Role Playing by Kathy Yardley. So I absolutely love this cover designed by Lenny Kaufman and it is absolutely beautiful. It feels like a book I should read in like September or something because um, it, it's very cozy. It has very strong fall vibes so I feel like I should save it for that time but I do want to read it this year most certainly because it just looks beautiful and it's supposed to be like I'm pretty sure they actually text each other first or something. Yeah they become fast virtual friends but um, they don't think that they're actually like suitable for each other romantically because they don't know each other's identity yet and then they meet in person and things go on from there or something like that. I absolutely love texting online romance shit stuff like that so I can't wait for this. Then we have The Plus One by Maisie Eddings. I love Maisie Eddings so much. I have read all of her books except for this one. So there's two books in this series and I actually have read the arc of a book that's coming out next month that's called Tilly in Technicolor. That is a YA one and absolutely love it so much. You absolutely need to add it to your TBR. And so that is a release that I have actually read already before it even released. So I'm doing something right, you know, but <laughs> um, this is the third book in the series. I again loved the first two and I can't wait for this. I'm pretty sure this is like a hate to love romance or like dislike to love. This says childhood enemies <laughs> and maybe I think there's like fake dating or something. There's fake dating. So dislike to love, fake dating, very fun. Can't wait for this. Um, then I have a book that I actually just bought today and also recently came out which is called You With A View by just Jessica Joyce and I did start reading a little bit of it and I read 30 pages today so you know look at me buying books and actually reading them. <laughs> And yeah, this one is another adult romance that basically um, follows the heroine who lost her grandma and she basically found out that her grandma had like a secret lover <laughs> and she wants to find out his identity to just find out, you know, what happened with them and just to get some information on her grandma that she never got to have to just feel a bit more connected to her and she posts on TikTok about it it goes viral and a guy says you know that's my grandfather and it turns out you know they meet each other to talk about her grandma and it turns out the guy is a guy that she knew in high school I think and they didn't like each other also so this is another dislike to love or hate to love or whatever and <laughs> uh it's also a road trip romance so all this is not a spoiler it literally happened in the first 30 pages and it I am very curious to see how that's gonna work because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure there's like they're supposed to go on the road trip with the grand grandfather so I'm like how is that gonna work but I am excited about it I do really enjoy road trip romances and it says that there's supposed to be only one bed <laughs> And obviously I love forced proximity and I feel like forced proximity is always super fun when it's hate to love so definitely reading this like right now and <laughs> I will be vlogging about vlogging about it. Then we actually have a YA romance and that is My Week With Him by Joya Goffney. So I'm gonna put the American cover on the screen as well because this is very different so I personally have a very visual memory and that one is also very pretty. I do like this one as well though and the way that all the British covers match and I do actually own the second book I just don't have it here and I'm actually not sure if it's a series or if it's all standalone so I don't quite remember if the first two books 
had connections or not, but either way, I loved the first two books by Joy Goffney, and this one is the most recent one. That's Best Friends to Lovers, and the, um, oh, the main character's name is Nikki. <laughs> There's never people who have my name in books. Technically, I never spell it like the way it's spelled in here, but that is still very exciting. Anyways, Best Friends to Lovers, and this says that she finds herself homeless at the start of spring break, and she wants to quit Texas for a new life in California, but her best friend Mal finds out, and tries to convince her to stay and so I think that the two of them are also going to spend a lot of time together and um so another forced proximity in a very different situation obviously you all know that I love best friends to lovers with my whole heart so I'm very excited for this obviously it does it is going to deal with some heavier topics but again I loved Joya Gaffney's previous books and I can't wait to see what she does with the story. Then I have a middle grade book and it is Ellie Engel Saves the World, Saves Herself um, by Leah Johnson. I don't know much about this but it's supposed to be like an urban fantasy, kind of like a superhero situation, not like superhero but sort of <laughs> I think. I love this cover. I also have a vlog that this is gonna be in. It is gonna be in a little while but I loved Leah Johnson's YA books and I can't wait to see what she does with a story like this. Then I have another YA romance which is The Do's and Donuts of Love by Adiba Igradar. I again <laughs> loved Adiba's previous books and you know what? I keep finding out that I actually just keep reading books by authors that I already know and love which I think is awesome. You know I love the fact that I have so many authors that I get to love that, that I can read you know more and more books by them, but at the same time, I really need to work on finding new authors. Okay, two of these are by new authors, but that's still not that much. <laughs> Anyways, this is a book I'm very much excited for. There's a lot of donuts, there's like a reality TV show, and um, there's kind of like a love triangle with the main character's ex and like a new girl who's on the show. Then we have a book that I have been very very highly anticipating which is Will They or Won't They by Ava Wilder. So Ava Wilder's previous book, I actually have it right here, <laughs> came out I think last year and I absolutely adored it like with my whole heart and so I can't wait for this. Love books about celebrities. I feel like I talk about it quite often because I do love reading that so much and I feel like other people don't talk about it that often and so this is another like actor situation where they actually hate each other but on screen they have to be a couple. Then I have the next new Syrian girl by Reem Shakairi which is another YA contemporary so it's not all actually just adult romance so you know a little bit of variety <laughs> and I this is actually another new author so and there's actually more wow okay so I'm I'm doing a little better than I thought I did but I again I think this is a deep yeah I think this is a debut a lot of authors that I love um, blurbed this book one of the blurbs says unputdownable, heartbreaking, and heart healing all at once, which is literally like my favorite kind of stories. Another one says, a stunning debut that much like its characters both packs a punch and offers a hug. And another blurb says that this cross-cultural narrative skillfully weaves a rich tapestry of sisterhood, family, and friendship, which sounds so beautiful. So I can't wait to read this book and also is going to be like one of the next ones that I read. Then I have another middle grade which is Nick Blake and the Remarkables by Angie Thomas. I am really again curious to see what this is like as Angie Thomas's first middle grade book. Again, love urban fantasy. I have not been reading middle grade that much lately and I want to work on that so. Then I have That Summer Feeling by Bridget Morrissey which in this case I think the author wrote um, YA books before and this is her first adult book where they go on some kind of like a summer camp for adults or something and so this I definitely want to read very soon because it's obviously a very summery book and so um, this is another author that I have actually not read any books by even though like I think I have at least one of the YA ones but I have not read it so i um, excited for this. I do want to read that on like a summer day which I mean like a hot sunny summer day <laughs> which has not exactly been happening here so hopefully soon. Then I have one that I recently received as a gift which is The Secret Service of Tea and Treason by India Halton. So this one is gonna wait for a little while but I still want to read it before the end of the year. I just have not yet read the first two books but it's time. I think like again like September, October. I feel like these books would be perfect for that time because they're like cozy fantasy historical romance situation. <laughs> then I have a very interesting one which is If Tomorrow Doesn't Come by Jen S.D. Jude 
which is supposed to be um i don't even know what genre technically it is because it's like contemporary but with like a apocalyptic situation which is that the first line says that on the morning avery byrne plans to end her life the world discovers there are only nine days left to live an asteroid is headed for Earth and no one can stop it. As time runs out and secrets slowly come to light, Avery finds her way home to save the girl she has been in love with her whole life. But can Avery also learn to save herself and find hope again in the tomorrows she has left? So obviously a very heavy emotional book and I feel like it sounds like an absolutely beautiful story that is gonna wreck me but I just feel like I need to read it. So I definitely will be reading this very soon and I... I'm scared but excited. <laughs> then I have Jana Goes Wild by Farah Heron, which is the author's second book, I think. Um, I don't know, again, if it's a series. And it's supposed to be a, like a second chance romance at a destination wedding or something. And yes, it's a sing single parent romance as well. And yes, I think it's actually, oh yeah, I think it's a single parent romance, but it's like the heroine is gonna get back together with the dad of her child. Another book that I want to read in the summer, so that is that. So while this video has been long enough, I do want to mention a few more books that I have on my phone that I have yet to buy. So the first one I have here is a really cool one that I really really want to read and that is um, Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. So this is a, a YA fantasy. I do desperately need to get back to fantasy again but I feel like I've been struggling to keep up with the releases because I'm not really following people who talk about fantasy and uh, or at least not YA fantasy and adult fantasy does not really work for me unless it's like cozy fantasy and so I've been struggling to find any books like that but please let me know if you have any recommendations. Doesn't have to be from this year, would be awesome if it is but it doesn't really matter. But this book looks so cool. It says that two young rival journalists find love through a magical connection and they must face the depths of hell in a war among gods to seal their fate forever. So um, it's supposed to have some kind of like, uh, you know, letters or something like that. And I don't know. It just sounds, it's beautiful. It sounds really cool. And I, it looks like it will be like heavy on the romance. And I am just very excited to give it a try. Then I have another fantasy. And this one is actually an adult fantasy romance, which is like my dream kind of genre, but there's just not enough. But so if you have any fantasy romance recommendations, please let me know also. But that is Forged by Magic by Jenna Wolfhart, which there's just like one little line that says a heartwarming feel good fantasy romance with a helping of spice and only a pinch of danger, which like describes my perfect fucking fantasy romance. Like I love that. I love the cover. It's on Kindle Unlimited. So I definitely will be reading this very, very soon. Then I have Give Me a Sign by, a by Anna Sortino, which has such a cute cover and it is about first love and deaf pride at a summer camp. So it has deaf representation and the cover is so fucking cute. And I really want to read more books with disability representation. And so I really want to get this book. So we we'll definitely will be getting that one soon. Um, and I think the last book that I'm going to mention here is The Surviving Sky by Kritika Age Rao. So this is a book that is actually an adult fantasy and it's supposed to have a romance in it but it is definitely a book that's out of my comfort zone and I do feel like I need to get out of my comfort zone a little bit more when it comes to reading <laughs> and so I really want to read this one and one of my friends actually read it recently and loved it and that meant like I that motivated me a lot to read it and it has a marriage in crisis which also is a trope that she loves and I love and I'm just like I need to read this as soon as possible and so I'm gonna read the little line at the beginning as well and that says this Hindu philosophy inspired debut science fantasy follows a husband and wife racing to save their living city and their troubled marriage high above a jungle world besieged by cataclysmic storms. So I don't really like sci-fi and like the whole genre situation of this scares me. But also the thought of a marriage in crisis in like a fantasy world sounds like the best thing ever. So I will definitely be reading this. <laughs> I am excited, a little bit nervous, but like I need to read this as soon as possible. So these are all the books. There's more, but I again didn't want this video to be too long. I am gonna link my Goodreads shelf 
of like 2023 releases down below because I do have quite a lot of them. So if you want to see that, there's a mixture of genres. I'll link it down below. And yeah, so let me know what books have come out this year that you are dying to read. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it this far in the video, um, leave a sun emoji down below because I am desperate for more sun and I need it to get sunnier as soon as possible. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!